It's like, shake, baby, shake, baby. <laughs> I just like don't even know how to start. That's the uh. awkward part. Are my hands in it? <laughs> Hi, everybody. So you graduated photo school. Now what? Hi everybody, I'm Emily from Downey Photo and I'm here today to give you guys a little bit of advice for recent high school and college graduates on how to get your start in photography. So you're ready to break into the photo market. The first thing that you need to decide is where do you want to work? If your goal is to break into the photography market in Cleveland, then my first piece of advice would be to reach out to other photography... photographies? Step one, find out where you want to work. If your goal is to work in Cleveland, then I would reach out to other photography studios or photographers and ask them to give their opinion on your portfolio. What's my portfolio? Okay, so your portfolio is a body of your work. A body of your work, your body, your work in the shape of a body. Shit, can you see that? Yeah. Oh. All right, so it's time to get your portfolio together. First step is to make sure however you're presenting it, whether it's on an iPad or a laptop or an actual tangible book. Something to remember is to make sure your portfolio is presented in a clean, organized fashion. This shows the photographer that you respect your work, so you're going to respect theirs. So when you're putting your portfolio together, show us the work you're most proud of. So when I graduated college, I thought that I was gonna be shooting for Vogue and instead I ended up cleaning toilets. What I mean by that is when you graduate college or you finish up high school, remember to have realistic expectations. So what I recommend is to try and break into freelance assisting. It's a quick way to make money, network, and get your foot in the door to a lot of photography studios. So you got hired on your first freelance job. What should you do? I actually don't know what you should do because I don't know the job, but here are a couple of pointers that I can give you to make sure you do a good job. One, for us, um, it is not sitting down. Don't put your hands in your pockets. Don't be on your cell phone. Be seen and not heard and work harder than everybody else in the room. Don't rush to get out of here at the end of the day. Leave with the team. But most importantly, when you get to your first freelancing assistant job, remember to have a positive attitude. And if you're working here, make sure to pay Jeff a lot of compliments. Man, that shirt looks good on you. Just remember to be humble, be gracious for every opportunity given to you. There's a lot of freelance assistants out there that would love to be in your position, love to be on set, so just be grateful for the work. Nailed it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>